Good morning everybody and welcome to Greenside Up. Yes, I've had the lockdown haircut, but unlike some YouTubers I know who are threatened with um, doggy doo doo hair clippers, this was done and massacred with a proper set of clippers. <laughs> anyway, it'll grow out. Um, so today I'm uh, planting sweet peas uh, right from the start. I've got a frame to construct and then the peas to plant, and then through the season they'll be trained up from there, so let's crack on. Right, so I've made a simple A-frame from the sweet peas. Uh, it's nothing overly special, it's nothing over strong either. But what I've done this year, which is different from normal, is that I've put chicken wire around the front. Always seem to have problems getting the sweet peas to start scrambling up, and I think this will solve it. And another thing I'm doing this year, which I don't normally do, I normally plant sweet peas on both of the uprights, so on both sides. And what that leaves me with is peas that don't do so well at the back side because the sun is coming from the left of the picture here most of the day. They do grow and they do get flowers from them but it becomes such a tangle and a mess that I'm not prepared to do it this year. So just up the front this year and it's a longer frame than normal as well, probably twice the length of what I normally grow up. And we'll see what sweet peas we've got left. I might put a couple of wigwams in elsewhere on the plot as well. So that's what I'm getting on with today now, is getting these planted. Right, these are Spencer type um, sweet peas. They've got the nice frilly edges and beautiful scent. They're the old heirloom type. So I'm going to plant two per cane. Look at that. Three little stems on there. Yeah, three per cane. Two per cane, sorry. I'm using two different root trainer books here, 
just to mix the colours up a bit. I get all my sweet peas from Eagle Sweet Peas. Go and have a look at them online. They do little collections on there where you can get sort of 10 maybe different varieties in a collection. You might get 10 seeds of each or in some of the other collections there's 20. They've always worked for me, they're always good germination. Good company to deal with. I can't remember which collection this was this year. But anyway, lovely, I say, lovely frilly flowers. Very blousy sweet pea. So I'm just putting, say, a little bit of blood fish and bone down to feed them. One plant out of each cassette there and then push the soil back in and put them in the ground, green side up. <laughs> there we go, just whack them in the ground, green side up and they'll scramble away up there happily as anything. Right, so now they just need a, a good watering in and they're pretty much maintenance free really. As they grow up I'll just check that the stems are sort of separating and going their own path up the, up the wire just to spread them out and spread the flowers out later. Um, so that's a little bit of work but it's you know it's not taxing stuff so So, let's hope for a good floriferous season. Sweet peas done. One of the wonderful things about growing things from seed straight into your polythonal soil is the surprises it will throw up. Now this flower here, I think, and I might be wrong, it's Sweet Rocket, which I sowed last year and nothing happened. And it came up this year and it's been flowering its head off in the polytunnel. And even if it is a weed, it's been really nice just to have it in here. There's a bit of company if you like. So that came from nowhere. Um, it's going to get pulled and composted very soon, but when I need the ground for something else. Well, something else I've just spotted this morning, which is just down here. This down here is red orash. Now it's it's a little edible plant. They use it in a, in um, over in Asia in that part of the world, and they use it sort of like um, how we use spinach over here. So it goes in in salads and stir fries and that sort of thing. I'll just see if I can zoom in a bit closer. There we go. Now it's a gorgeous colour. That grows up to about. I don't know, it was about 12, 15 inches high, the ones I grew last year. There we go, red orash. Just a volunteer in here. Isn't that pretty? Bless. And here's my little seed bed I sowed, I don't know, must be three, four weeks ago now. Look at all them lovelies coming up, they're all flowers mostly. Can't remember any edibles going in there. They'll all be going out the back. Wonderful. <laughs> How's that for charred? <laughs> Mental. <laughs> <laughs>